Hey, welcome back to the big show, and thanks for spending part of your afternoon with us here at Twin Cities Live. Elizabeth is spending time with her family, so a big thanks to Leah McLean for hanging out with us today. I'm so glad to be here. Thank you so much for having me. So far, the food has been fantastic, and apparently there's more to come. There is a beloved restaurant that is on the move. It was in, in Anoka, and they're reopening in a new location. Apparently, they have doubled the seating in this mm. place. We're talking about Jelly Bean and Julia's. They create Texas-style barbecue plus chicken and burgers from scratch. Oh my gosh, it's so good, you guys. So the husband and wife team went from catering mm -hmm. their own wedding my goodness, that's a challenge in and of itself. So yeah. why not just cater the whole thing too, right? Okay. They went from that to opening up their own restaurant. So reporter Kristen Hobrick shares their story. Tell me about the namesake. Oh, well, it's our daughter's middle names. Naomi Jellybean. Jellybean and, and Tallulah, Julia. Tallulah Julia, yeah. Oh my goodness. So, and that was again for the canning company, and I kind of wanted something to like, I could maybe pot, put, like, potentially pass down to my kids. And how did you get from selling at farmers markets to then you started a food truck with your husband? Well, we, we try to get a kitchen to make commercially canned products. Mm -hmm. And I went through all the licensing, we had a licensed kitchen. We then, my husband lost his job. And then we were like, oh crap, what do we do? Well, we have a kitchen, let's get a food truck. Okay. And so we decided to start, that's, that's, that was, we already had the kitchen for the canning. How yep. did you come up with the idea for barbecue? Well, we were doing barbecue catering and we did some barbecue on the food truck. We okay. did um, smoked pulled pork sandwiches and okay. burgers. So, we so some of the menu items on the food yes. truck was like, aha, yeah. this and could be our brick and mortar. And when we got married, that was when my husband's first, bought his first smoker, we catered our own wedding reception. <laughs> and so he was cooking like pork shoulder and stuff. And that's when we started we just doing like low key catering for friends and stuff. A year into it, we went from our little smoker to I bought a rotisserie, and that rotisserie allowed us to cook about 200 pieces of chicken. So we started doing bigger weddings and bigger weddings, and then 2012, um, I lost my job. I cashed out my 401k. We bought the food truck and couldn't really do barbecue on the food truck, so that's where all the burgers and the heart attack Come sandwich in. came from. You have nods to Texas all over here, but you are right. not from Texas. I'm not from Texas. I am from Coon Rapids. Not born, but raised um, most of my life. Now we live in Anoka. I live about a mile away from the house that I grew up in. Uh, my wife is from Ramsey. She went to Anoka, so we're from the area. Yeah. But it's pretty bold to be like, we have Texas-style barbecue. Yeah, yeah, and it's really, it came from the restaurant, just having the restaurant. When we opened the restaurant, hadn't even really cooked brisket. Wow. So when you open a barbecue place, you gotta have brisket. We're known for our brisket. We're known for our burgers. But we also have really good chicken wings. Tell me about the buns. You oh, are dedicated yeah. to making sure that just you're um, doing that by hand. Being seed oil free, just being frustrated with like the ingredient. When you look at the ingredients, you're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is so bad. And canola just, oil, sunflower well, seed oil. Yeah, sunflower oil, soybean oil, canola oil, all these oils. And aside from the sodas, yes. there's no corn syrup, no seed oils. We cook in animal fats. The biggest menu items right now are. Our heart attack, which has been our flagship sandwich since we had the food Ooh, truck. What's all on that? The heart attack is a bacon grilled cheese with three types of cheese, bacon, grilled onions, roasted garlic, aioli, um, jalapeno jam, Ooh. and about three and a half ounces of pulled pork. This is um, the house made aioli. And then we're gonna put jalapeno jam on the other side. This is provolone, a sharp cheddar, and then good old uh, Americano cheese. So what's so cool is that you can order certain menu items with some of the sauces or jars or jams, mm -hmm. and then go home with it. Yeah, absolutely. And this is you, you did this. Yes, I did. Where are you canning this? Oh, here. And then, um, but I'm growing it at home. And this is chow chow. Yep. So the zucchini, the tomato, the cabbage, that's yep. all you. Yep, and the hot peppers. The habanero. Strawberry habanero jam. That's kind of what we would have for toast for, for brunch. If you were to come Some in for crackers brunch, you can add a side. Yeah, yeah, but you just put it on your breakfast toast and eat it with your eggs, you know? All right, Corey, we're now to my favorite time when right. we actually get to eat and I get to reap the yes. fruits of your labor. I'm going in for the heart attack. Heart attack, flagship signature sandwich. Pulled pork, bacon, 
provolone cheese, American cheese, cheddar cheese. It's, there's some it's a work of in art. There. That jalapeno <laughs> wasn't too hot. No. Nope. Okay, now we got to move on to the wings. Wings. Your yes. signature wings. Right. One for you. I will What's say. My 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 new um, tagline Tag is "Welcome to my kingdom," <laughs> better known as Anoka, for I am the Wing King of Anoka County. Cheers, Wing King. All right, Kristen. This is this is also my favorite part is when you debut and you talk about these these places and you bring the food in Voila. and then we get to eat yes. as well. Mm -hmm. It's a win win. Mm -hmm. The owners are so sweet though. They just dropped all these goodies off about a half hour ago. So uh -huh. up first is a coconut chicken sandwich. Like look at the breading and the size. Of um, that I've already breast. tried the fries, which are wonderful. <laughs> but I can't just sit here and look at this food that long. Well, that is, is the so great. that's the appropriate look when everything just oozes wow. over the mm -hmm. edge of the bun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It does. So it's coconut chicken on there? Yep. Oh, yep. wow. And then over here is their signature dry wings. rub wings mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. with the pickles are marinated <gasps> in cherry Kool-Aid. Yeah, they do all of That's this stuff funky. in house. Cherry Kool-Aid. Okay, and then over gotta... there, it's the cherry jam <laughs> and Gouda <laughs> burger. <gasps> Cherry Gouda. jam and Gouda? Yes, all burger. Right. Okay, everything looks fantastic. Yeah. Well, so, that's fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? It's like a fun little surprise. Yeah, it is. And the big news oh, yeah. is that they are now open at their brand new location in Coon Rapids. So okay. we got some video to show you. It's right off of Coon Rapids Boulevard. And at this point, they're doing a bit of a soft opening, but they've been able to double the seating. And we love hearing that from mom and pop shops that are expanding. So they just simply outgrew their old space and they closed that location in Anoka down. But now you can see they've got a stage for live music. They have a full bar with 14 taps and pool tabs, you know, people love that. Gotta have that. And um, no barbecue just yet, and that is because they are ordering a top-of-the-line, beautiful smoker that will be installed in early May. So, for now, the barbecue's on hold, but look at all these other great options. But they will have the barbecue. Yep, It'll be there. It's coming back. It's coming mm -hmm. back. Thing. And yesterday, I had a, a chance to catch up with one of the owners, Colby, so take a listen to what she had to say. Man, we're so excited to be here right now, just increasing our space and being able to have more people come and eat barbecue and being more accessible to people and not hiding in a strip mall in Oka, which we loved being at for all those years we were there, but it's great to be able to accommodate more people. And so our office manager, Tracy, she lives up in that area, mm -hmm. and she was telling me the curiosity in the community has just been so overwhelming mm -hmm. because, you know, you see what used to be an old Grumpy's sports bar okay. and that type of establishment went out of business, and now it's like, well, what's coming? And how great that now yes. it's a spot that's <laughs> locally owned. You can bring your kids in. It's a much more inviting atmosphere, mm -hmm. and everything there is made from scratch. Oh, well, and that's, that's great. That's the thing I think people appreciate, and I think really the Twin Cities needs more of. Yes. So are these smaller mm -hmm. mom and pop made from scratch, real authentic barbecue, not some of the, mm -hmm. the big box barbecue stuff. Right. People love barbecue. They do. They really do. <laughs> and you to know? be able to get it right here is pretty yeah. great. Yeah. We gotta get to Coon Rapids. All right, Kristen, thank yeah. you so thank much. Thanks so yeah. much.